Hello. Hello. Uh, good evening, sir. My name is Ruby Parker, and I'm a dress designer. This is a question on behalf of my friend. Uh, she is a Muslim, and she is married to a Hindu. Okay, but she follows Islam, and uh, the husband follows the Hindu religion. And uh, she and her family, they are not comfortable regarding she married to a Hindu. Now, can you put some light on this? Because she is very confused of what to do. She is madly in love with that man. If I understood your question, sister, you said that there is a Muslim girl who's married a Hindu boy and she's madly in love. What should she do? Is this the question, sister? Right. Has she got married or not? Yes, she is. Court marriage. Court marriage. Sister, I said that there's a Muslim girl who's married a Hindu boy. She's madly in love. Court marriage, what should she do? The thing is there that Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 221. It says that do not marry a mushrika, do not marry an idolatress until she believes. A believing woman, even if she's a bondswoman, she's much better than an unbelieving woman, even if she allows you. The verse continues that do not marry a mushrik man, do not marry an idolatering man, even if she allows you, until he believes. A believing man, even if he's a bondsman, even if he's a slave man, he's far better than a mushrik man, unbelieving man, even if he allows you. So in Islam, a Muslim girl cannot marry a non-Muslim man. And as I told earlier, the reason is that if you have a vehicle, one tire of the vehicle is of a cycle, of a bicycle, and the other tire, it is of a truck. But naturally, the vehicle will not run. And furthermore, every human being would want that their spouse also go to Jannah. So if she claims to be a Muslim, her main purpose of life is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as I told you, that the Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 48, Surah Nisa chapter 4, 116, that Allah will forgive any sin, but the sin of shirk, associating partners with God, He will never forgive. So how can she have a life partner whose purpose of life is different? That means maybe you are selfish. You want to go to Jannah, but you don't want your life partner to go to Jannah. So surely, if she really loves the husband, she should put an ultimatum that if you continue, you will not go to Jannah. So put an ultimatum that if you want me, you will also get Jannah by accepting Islam. If you accept Islam, I am with you, otherwise I am not with you. So that she gets the best of this world and he also gets the best of both the world.